folks, Crazy Marty here. Uh, in our quest to create a freeze-proof RV or horse trailer, uh, we've been dealing with things. Uh, as you saw in a previous episode, I went ahead and insulated the underside of the trailer, added some heat pads to the black tank and the gray tank to keep those from freezing. Uh, now we're still dealing with a problem with the freezing up front right here underneath the steps. Uh, I've got everything whittled down to that. I'd thrown a bunch of insulation there as a temporary basis until I could get around to getting this. I have this stuff here. This is the compensator with a K. This is 12 volt, low voltage trace heat wire. This stuff here is supposed to be my savior and saving grace and all that other stuff. We're hoping to use this to keep our pipes from freezing. Uh, you can bend it up to a half inch radius on the bend. So you'd have a half inch on one side and half inch on the other 90 degree. This stuff here, uh, this is a six foot piece. It uses a pro I, use, I think, I think this one is a, uh, uh, three Watts per foot is what this stuff uses. It comes with a big, long, uh, pigtail on the end of it. And it even has a little deal here that you, so if it's outside, you could put it in a box and it's weatherproof, but this is 12 volt DC low voltage heat tracing wire. So this will go on the pipes and this will keep the pipes from freezing. The problem I got up front here, the faucet that sticks out the front, it is the part that gets cold because it's aluminum up front. Well, what it does is it gets cold and it transfers all the cold through the, the inside part here where the, the tank and all the, all the plumbing is. So that uh, makes it a little bit more difficult to insulate. I have gone ahead and shoved pipe insulation down the whole length of the uh, the pipes that I could get to, but I'm adding this stuff in because the last freeze that I had was up front where everything is still cold and it's not insulated. So we're in the process of making that better. And hopefully this stuff here, this compensator, will actually make it work. So after several hours of playing contortionist I was able to get the stuff installed into the hole and reinstalled all my insulation from the uh, previous attempt to try to stop things freezing. But the main part that I was having an issue with was back inside of here. That was freezing uh, on the suction side of the pump and on the discharge side of the pump. The pump out here is, you know, inside the living quarters basically, so it didn't have much of a problem. So there was always water there. It just. Uh, it wasn't frozen, so that, that, that should be all right in here because it is warmer. So there you have it, folks. More insulation anti-freeze devices. Uh, I may have a problem back over here under the uh, bathroom sink because there's a spot there that's exposed to the fender wells, which is not insulated, so I might wind up putting some insulation on there later on. I'll have to figure that out. But it is in the cabinet, so that can be, you know, I can open the cabinet door and it'll stay warm in there enough to keep it from freezing. Of course, I do have my diesel heater right back there, so it is blowing a lot of heat into that area. So I don't think that is a problem. Uh, where the next problems may arise on freezing, who knows? But in the meantime, I'm Crazy Marty, and you're the crazy people for watching me. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe button, and the notification bell, ding a ling a ling because every time you do, some little elf will get another compensator heat line put into his trailer. Talk to you later, bye-bye. And I'll be sure and send you a postcard from free